Hi, and welcome to our presentation about Lextreme, a multilingual and multitask benchmark for the legal domain. So why is Lextreme necessary? First, most pre-trained language models are general purpose models. Second, the legal domain is strongly characterized by both its lexicon, specific knowledge and the length of its documents. Third, uh, PLMs can be insufficient to address tasks specific to the legal domain. And finally, um, we argue that pre-trained language models, especially pre-trained for the legal domain, are necessary. There is a, a large need for NLP systems for languages other than English, but few resources are available. For multinational and multilingual legal systems, there does not exist a multilingual PLM right now. Additionally, the question remains if multilingual general purpose PLMs are enough to solve challenging legal tasks. We argue that there is a need for standardized multilingual benchmarks, especially as well for the legal domain. So in this work, we contribute a novel multilingual benchmark for PLMs in the legal domain, Lextream. We see this as a living and open source benchmark, so we welcome new datasets. So far, we could integrate 11 additional datasets into Lextream. The initial version contains 24 languages, is based on 11 existing datasets for NLU, and we evaluate five multilingual models in addition to monolingual models and even native um, monolingual legal models so far as we could find them. We selected our datasets and tasks from uh, prestigious venues such as ACL and the MNLP and we limited them to European languages for now. The datasets are annotated by humans and they exist in the 24 EU languages such as English, Italian, French, Portuguese and so on. We have various different tasks such as argument mining, unfairness detection or even legal name identity recognition. To provide a reference point, we evaluate four major categories of models. General purpose multilingual PLMs, general purpose monolingual PLMs, monolingual legal PLMs, and we also perform zero shot classification with ChatGPT 3.5. We evaluate using macro F1 score to account for class imbalance. We report results using language aggregation and task aggregation. For the dataset aggregate scores, we see a general trend of larger models performing better and XLMR large outperforms all alternatives on most datasets. For language aggregate scores, we also see XLMR large outperforming alternatives on most languages but monolingual general purpose models also show very strong performance and some monolingual legal models slightly outperform the multilingual models of the same size. We find that ChatGPT is not yet up to the standard of fine-tuned smaller supervised models, um, especially on tasks such as um, online terms of service or gen uh, German argument mining, it underperforms. In the future, we would like to investigate the potential benefit of domain-specific multilingual PLMs. We'd like to investigate the impact the jurisdiction could have on the results in the same language. Then uh, we would like to extend our benchmark to both generative tasks such as summarization, simplification and translation and to more languages. Additionally, we also want to evaluate more models such as multilingual T5. Thank you for your time and we are looking forward to answer any remaining questions also offline. Please find our data on Hugging Face and our code for fine tuning and evaluating language models on GitHub. We're looking forward to see our baseline surpassed by your new methods.